It's the end of summer. At sunrise, there's a slight chill in the air, which means the best fishing season is coming and time to begin looking for false albacore, or albies as we call them. False albacore, albies. For the fly fishing angler on Long Island, there is probably nothing more exciting than fishing for them. Perhaps it's because albies, these torpedo-shaped fish with fork tails, are here for only a few weeks out of the year, but during that time, we'll experience some of the most intense fishing days of the season with explosive eats, long and fast runs, so fast that you will be into your back end before you realize you've hooked up. So it's no surprise that come September, every able angler will begin hitting the usual spots in search of the albi on the fly. But a smaller group will go for the ultimate challenge, to fish and catch them from the rocks, which is far more challenging than fishing from a boat, but even more rewarding. I'm Sergio Diaz, and this video is all about my annual obsession with fly fishing for albies from the rocks. When fishing for albies, it's important that you be patient and be ready because albies will pop at any second and be gone the next. The battle begins when you hook up and you can expect the fish to run fast and hard, crossing the line of other anglers, and any mistakes you make will cost you the fish. So let me show you how I do it and what has worked for me over the years. In early season, I'll use a small epoxy flies in sizes two, one, maybe one no, depending on the bait. And later in the season, I'll use larger flies like the Albi whore in sizes one and one no. Colors, pink, tan, and white seem to work better than other colors. I mostly use intermediate fly lines, although sometimes sinking lines are very effective. Leaders are also very important, so I always use at least a 9-foot fluorocarbon leader. And when the fish are finicky and not eating flies, I'll go lighter and go up as the bite gets better. My fly rods are all fast rods, so that I can punch line quickly and get in the zone with as few false casts as possible. Remember, these fish can pop and be gone in seconds, so you don't have too much time to false cast, and you just have to get in the water right away. I strongly recommend you use a reel with a strong and smooth drag. This is very important because if your reel tends to jerk or stop while the fish is running, then you're probably going to lose many fish. I like the drag on Nautilus reels, but there are many other good reels on the market. And one last piece of advice, keep your fly in the water. I've hooked many albies blind casting when they were not showing on top. So during the season, I recommend you blind casting to moving water where the fish might be cruising and you will have fish the guy waiting for them to show. One thing I've learned from fishing for albies on the rocks is that you will have to put in time. Yes, someday you might get lucky on your first cast, but the rest of the time you will have to cast over and over and over again. But perseverance will pay off.
sometimes the Albies will be all around you, but they will either be out of casting range or they'll simply refuse to take your fly. That's Albie fishing for you. At times, it can be very frustrating and anything that can go wrong will go wrong. But finally, the moment will come when Albies present the perfect opportunity and that's when your timing and presentation will need to be right and when it is, you and your fish finally connect. There are days when Albi signs are more subtle. There's no top water action or fish breaking the surface. But if you study the water, you'll learn to recognize those spots that seem like a good ambush location. And sooner or later, Albies will strike.
So that's why I love to fish for Albies from the rocks. All the work that goes into it. Tying your own flies. Making sure your knots are perfectly tied. Searching for the fish. And then being ready to make a good presentation. And of course, landing the fish. But even if you don't catch an albie, and there are plenty of those days, fly fishing for albies is about getting out there, being on the spot, seeing your old friends, and making new ones, giving it all, living the moment.